you see any tracks in the, in the, in the mud. Here's a deer track. Yep, which way is it going? This way. Yep. My name is Britt Ahart. I'm 40 years old. I live in Manaway, Ohio, and I work in accounting. And I have a wife, Laura, two stepdaughters, Alyssa, 19, and Reese, 15, and my son, Campbell, who's six years old. We have a bobcat around our house, and we're going to try to catch it. He's so special to me, and everything I do is for his betterment. This is my fort. Everything I've learned through the culmination of my life, I get to share with that little boy. And I'm trying to build him into a great person, and he's already well on his way. This is my overnight shelter. It's, it's full of soft things, like, so it doesn't get wet in here and you can, like, sleep. You remember me putting this up here? Yeah. In terms of my dirt time or any of my bushcraft, that's things I've always been doing, so I didn't really have to hunker down and do more of that as time approached. It's kind of instilled in my brain what I can do, what I'm capable of. Step back here. You remember I took, watch your head. I took these two that were shaped like a Y, and those are my joists. I'm adopted, so I've never met my birth family. And whenever I'm stepping outside, it's one of the few times I feel like I'm actually myself and I'm comfortable. And I just feel like this would be the ultimate test to find out you know, what your core is really made of. And I think this is just a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something like that that most people don't get. Do you want to know anything about the way it looks or the animals or anything? Or? Yeah, I, I want to know what the animals are. I'll tell you what, there's going to be something like Zuko, but it's much bigger. Bobcat. Bigger. Lion. Yeah, not a lion, but a mountain lion or a puma. Those are cool, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you going to really hunt them? I'm not hunting those, and hopefully they won't be hunting me. How long will you be gone? More than 30 days? We'll see how long I'm going to be gone, but it could be 30 days. It could be 40 days. 50, 60, or could 70? It could be 50, 60, 70. It could be 300. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> 300. But you'll be fine while I'm gone. You got your sisters you need to take care of. One of the things I put in place when I left was uh, I wrote a letter that he could open up on every Monday. I plan on keeping track of the days, and I'll know on this particular Monday that my boy is at home opening up a letter that I wrote to him. So we'll be able to maintain that sort of bond, even though we're very far apart. When I'm out in the woods alone, I mean, it's hard to say what my greatest fear would be, but it's going to be something that's buried within me that maybe I haven't addressed. Some buried demons or some little skeletons, and those are all going to come to the surface when you have nothing but your brain to deal with. Bye, buddy, man. Take care of mommy, right? OK. Be a good man. Mm -hmm. I'll be the man in the house. There you go. Alone at last. It's scary out here in these woods. My stomach is in knots.